always the first one here, huh? I love you. Appreciate you being here again. I just want you to get relaxed and get comfortable because we about to do it deep, deep, deeper into God prayer meditation. Hold on, let me tuck that in real quick. God on my own behalf to ask God to just remove these feelings of guilt sometimes when I begin to feel like I'm doing something that I love and it feels like I'm harming others that I love while doing what I love and I know that sometimes you get that way too you begin to feel like doing what you love harms those that you love and we don't want that to happen to you we want you to not have those feelings of guilt so we want to relieve you we want to relieve you of these feelings we want you to feel that you are doing the right thing just the right and just thing for your heart because what we're doing for us in our own heart for our own heart we are also doing for our own healing and what is good for the heart is good for the soul it heals us and so right now God we're just petitioning you right now to move to come about, to come without, to come from within these depths of our being so that we can go deeper into you, go deeper into this appreciation, this space of love where you grant us this opportunity, you grant us these, these possibilities and you grant us this space to be the true form of who we are. We want to do this, be this without feeling guilty about it. And so I'm asking God that you, you move on our behalf and you, you you begin to stand out before us so that we see a reflection of something good. We begin to reflect from within on the outside that which is good, God. And we're asking for you to just reflect back to us good. Reflect back to us, God. Let us feel this in our heart. Let us sense this in our soul. Let us... Manifest this in our minds and in our thoughts. Let us be mature in our ways for the understanding that 
What is good for me is good for my people. What is good for me is good for, for those I love. What is good for me is good for those around me. Because what is good for me heals my soul. And what is good for me that heals my soul is good for me and my people community, my global community, my people worldwide. If I just believe that this is good for me. And God, I'm petitioning you right now to move so that we know that what we're doing is righteous. What we're doing is right. What we're doing is good. What we're doing is the right thing. And I ask that you strike any guilt down from our hearts right now. Strike it from our minds. Strike it from our thoughts. And strike it from our being. That if we have a, a modicum of feeling, an iota of thinking that we are doing something wrong, strike it from our hearts and strike it down fast from our thoughts, God. For we do not want to peril. We do not want to perish in perilous thinking. We do not want to perish and perilous thinking, thinking that keeps bringing us down, God, but we ask that within our soul, you fill us up with feelings of love and righteousness, that we are doing the righteous thing. Fill us up. Allow our hearts and our minds to not be guilty, feel guilty for what we do, what we're doing. If we know that it benefits our souls, let it benefit those around us, God, because I know that if you give us something, that when, you, when we came into this world, we came in good. We came in perfectly whole and complete. We came in good when we came into this world. And that which we came in with is good. And that which is good within us, we ask that we use it to bring good into the world. And if that which is was which is in us, if that good that is in us brings good into the world, then God, I ask that you strike any guilt from our hearts for doing what we feel is good. I ask that you strike any guilt from our thoughts for doing that which we believe is good and righteous and just and whole in healing and healthy for our well-being and those around us. Remove it, God. Remove it now. Remove it from our thoughts. Remove it from our souls. Remove it from our hearts. speak right now God we speak it into this world we speak it from within us we speak it from the depths of where you lie within us we speak good we speak good into the world it is not what goes into a man that defiles him but it is what comes from without of a man what comes out of a man that defiles him and so I'm asking that what comes out be good because we came in good because you are good and because you are good we are good we came in good so what comes out is good and so we're asking that what comes out be good and that which is good that comes out we're asking to be immersed in that good to come from a place of thinking with that good to come from our heart and soul with that good so that we know that good is good universally it's good locally it's good in my community it's good in my family it's good in my soul it's good to my friends it's good to my people God I'm asking for you to witness help us to witness this good within us so we can speak it forth and be it So there are no more feelings of guilt from every time we believe that what we're doing, if it's good, God, 
then we should not feel guilty about it. If it makes me feel good, it's going to make others. We should not feel guilty about it. God, I'm speaking that you help us come to this realization that what we're doing inside of our souls for the collective of our people, my people, the people of this world, if it's good, God, I'm asking that it be good, not guilt. Let us remove these feelings of guilt for doing what we believe is good. If you are good, then I am good because I came in through you, in you, as you, with you. Therefore, I am good. And if I am good, God, all that I do is good. All I do is good. All I do is good. And so anytime guilt comes into our heart, we strike it down. We, we, we swipe it left. We swipe it right. Whatever we swipe up, we don't allow guilt to penetrate our souls because we know who we came in through. We know who we came in with. We know who we came in as. We know what we came in as and we came in as good and so we put out good all that we do is good God I'm thanking you right now for this good in our soul that we don't have to live with guilt but we live with good let us live with good not guilt and I ask that those who are watching those tuning in continue continue to move continue to move in this space and continue to flow in this space of good knowing that everything that you're doing is good Everything that you are doing is good. If it is healing you and healing your soul and healing others around you, continue to do it. Let this be our manifest, our med meditation today. Let us begin to meditate on this word. I'm just so thankful that we were able to be still in this moment to allow God to move in through and as us so that we become an embodiment of good and not guilt. And now you are uh, the embodiment of good. I'm asking you to sit silent, quiet, be still in this moment recognize I want you to hear a scripture I'm going to repeat a scripture it comes from the Bible and I just want you to understand that I am not a preacher I'm not a pastor I don't preach a religion I don't pastor a, a, a community of a congregation of people that believe in a certain thing or this thing I'm a spirit of good because I know who I am I'm a spirit of good and I just want you to hear a scripture as we meditate real quick. This comes from Genesis. And the scripture says that when God looked over the firmament, he looked at all that he created and he called it good. That includes you, man, and woman. Because when God created all things, the scripture says that God looked over the firmament. And when he looked out over the firmament, after his seven days of completing all these things, he was saying, let there be light and let us create man in our image and in our likeness. And then God said, then the scripture says that God looked over the firmament and he looked at all that he created and he called it good called it good and I'm here to say to you today meditate on this that you are made perfectly whole and complete not from a God but as a God you're made as God because you are good and I want you to meditate and to begin to 
witness that everything that you create, everything that comes forth from your hands, everything that you release out of your hands, I want you to begin to meditate. And this is a meditation that can be a manifestation for life. A manifestation for life. This is something you can continue to do day in and day out. That everything that, rele that you release from your hands, I want you to begin to meditate on this. That everything you are releasing from your hands, I want you to see it and give it the intention of good. That everyone you give something to, everyone you let allow grab, you allow to grab something out of your hand. Every time you pay for someone's meal, every time you, you take someone out on a date, anything that you do and it is an offering to someone else, I want you to meditate on it being Whatever that offering is, look at it, hold it, and see it as good. So that you stay good. You stay good no matter what someone does with what you gave them. Don't ask the homeless man what is he going to do with that dollar. Don't think the homeless man is going to go buy beer or smoke cigarettes. Or, it doesn't matter what the homeless man or woman does with what you give them. The question is... And I want you to begin to see in this meditation that as long as your intention and what you release is good, there is no guilt in what you do. And so with your hands, I want you to give an offering right now, just to the universe right now, give an offering with your hands. Do this and release an offering. What is that offering you're releasing? What is that offering you're releasing to the universe? And before you let it go, before it leaves your hands, release it and say, I give this my every thought. Repeat this and say this in your heart, in your mind, or you can move your lips and you can say this. And I want you to say, I give this. It doesn't matter what this is, whatever this is, I give this. Every thought of good. Every intention of good. Every motive of good. I release this good. I let go of this good. I send off this good. offer up this good I give away this good and I want you to see good like a dove flying out of your hands like the releasing of a dove releasing of a bird flying from your hands and I want you to see that bird fly off and as that bird ascends into the heavens ascends into the skies you don't know where it's going you don't know what direction you don't know where it's headed, but you know what you released was good and you feel good about releasing good. And I want you to feel good about releasing good. I want you to feel good about releasing good. And I want you to see that good like a dove being released from your hands. Not knowing where it's going, not knowing how they're going to spend that dollar, not knowing what they're going to do with what you gave them, not knowing what they're going to do with your offering. It doesn't matter because that's where guilt comes in. Guilt comes in when we think about the things they're going to do. You begin to feel bad for giving them the dollar. You begin to feel bad for offering up what you gave them. You begin to feel bad. And I'm asking you, you can remove the guilt. By just whatever you release from your hands, whatever leaves your hands, give it the thought, the intention, the vibration, the service, the offering, the giving up. Give it good. Give it away in good honoring. And watch it fly from your hands like a dove. And you don't know where it's going. And frankly, you don't care where it's going. It's not your job to know. It's not your job to care. 
It's your job to love. It's your job to love. Love. Love the offering you gave up. Love what you give up. Love what you release. Release it in love. And give it the intention of good. If you're not ready to let it go, then continue to hold on to that dove. But this is this good is a dove in your hand, a bird, a dove that you're holding in your hand. If you're not ready to release it, then you can hold it. Hold the vibration of good. Just sit with it. Hold it. Hold it for a moment. You don't have to release it yet if you don't want to release it. You can also hold it. And you can hold the vibration of love, of good in your hands so that you can feel what it feels like to hold good. But you can't hold on to good. You can hold good, but you can't hold on to it. Good is only good when you release it. Good is only good when you release the good. What good is any what what any good is good if you only hold on to the good? What good is it if you hold on to good? Good has a purpose when you release it. Good serves its purpose when you release good. Not when you hold on to good. And so you don't hold on to good. You can hold good. You can always hold good. You can give everything you hold the intention of good. You can give everything you think of the thought of good. You can give everything you offer up as a service. You can release it in good. You can hold good all day long. But you must give it away though. You must release it. And so you can hold it for a moment. Hold it. And I want you to breathe as you hold good. Hold good in your hands like a dove. And then I want you to breathe in. Remember how we breathe. We do the the rest. We rest when we breathe. We we let it rise. We let it we let it escalate, and we let it sit at the top of our crown. So we rise, escalate, sit at the top, and this is what we do with our breath. We rise through the nostrils, through the nasal passage. We let it rise through the nasal passage. Inhale. Let it escalate. Let it slowly creep up there. Let it creep. Let it fill the airspace. Let it. Feel the space in your head, in your mind, in your thoughts. Let it slowly fill that space. And then when it gets, when it when it's done escalating, let it sit there at the top of your crown chakra. And hold that space. Channel that energy of good into the universe, out of your crown. Out of your crown, you want to channel that energy of good into the universe. While you hold on to that good, while you hold good. And don't release it yet, don't release it yet. Don't release it yet. If you release it, it's okay, you can still hold good. Hold another intention, or another thought of good. Now when you release with this inhale, this exhale, when you release the exhale, I want you to release that which is in your hand. And I want you to release it in good. So at the same time, as you exhale, you're releasing your good. Okay? Now you can exhale. of good, hold another thought of good, hold another vibration of good, hold it, hold it, now let us do the, do our rest breath, our rest breath, let's go, and let's do a rise, let's do it, let it rise, let the breath rise, slowly let it escalate, and feel that space in your thoughts, in your mind, in your head. So we want it to escalate, to fill every gap, fill every void in the spaces of our thoughts, in the spaces of our mind. We want that intention of good to rise and then slowly escalate and fill those voids. Like blowing air inside of a balloon. 
we want the air to consume every space of the balloon. And then we let that air, we let that oxygen, we let that breath sit at the top of our crown. And as we let it sit, we let it beam out into the universe, the intention of good, still holding on to your breath, still holding your breath. And as I, when you hear the sound of the bell, I want you to release, I want you to release that exhale into the atmosphere because when we breathe into the biosphere, we release the breath into the atmosphere. And so I want you to hold on to that breath. And at the sound of this bell, you can release it. Slow, release your good. feeling bad for what you do. You're no longer feeling bad for where you go. You're no longer feeling bad for what you give. You're no longer feeling bad for how you live. You're no longer feeling guilty for these things. You're no longer feeling guilty, but you're feeling good. No longer feeling guilty, but you're feeling good. No more guilt. 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 No more guilt for living the way you live. No more guilt for making the decisions you make. No more guilt for loving the things that you love. No more guilt for loving who you love. Love them 100% fully. Love them 100% fully. Love them 100%. Love that 100%. Love it 100% fully. All in. Be all in love. All in love. I want you to be all in love. Let us rise it one more time. Let us rest one more time. Let us do the breath. Let us...
space you're in right now. Because we know that we operate in God, in God, as God, with God, through God, to God, for God. Your mind, your soul to be guided 
I don't take it lightly that you allow me to get into your mind, into your thoughts, into your heart, into your soul to guide you rightly, guide you justly, guide you in good. And that's what I'm here to do. So I thank you for being here. This is very intimate to me and intimate to have a moment with you like this. So thank you again. I'll be here again tomorrow at 9 a.m. If you're just joining us, hit the rewind, watch it over. Ashe, Atone, Amen. Be well and be light. And as I always say, I love you. I love me. I love us. See you tomorrow.